Natalie Sidesurf here of Sidesurf Cake Studio, and I'm gonna show you how I made a Taco Bell taco cake. If you're kinda new to cake sculptures, this is the cake you wanna make first. Not only is it a food cake, which everyone loves, uh, it's, it's got a lot of techniques that are really easy, they're pretty simple, and they're very effective. My lettuce looks like lettuce, my cheese looks like cheese, the meat looks like meat, and the shell looks just like a real taco shell. But I'm gonna show you how to make your own. Please do, and tag me, Side Surf Cakes. I wanna see them. We put out new cake videos every Monday, so subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell, and if you'd like to become a patron, you can head over to patreon.com slash sidesurfcakes. So let's get started. Here I have a taco shell from Taco Bell, and I'm going to use this taco shell to color match and also add texture. The first thing I wanna do is color match. So here I have some modeling chocolate. I am adding drops of gel food color, and I'm trying to match the color of the shell I have in front of me. I started out with ivory food color, and then I added some yellow. What I like to do is have a tiny bit of chocolate and color match that small amount before I color the larger piece of chocolate. That way, if I goof up, I didn't ruin a bunch of chocolate, just a little tiny bit. Because it happens, sometimes I mess up. Now that I know what color I want the shell to be, I'm going to color the rest of the chocolate. So that is pretty darn close and I'm ready to move on to rolling out that modeling chocolate. So here I have some cornstarch, and that is to keep the chocolate from sticking to my rolling pin. So I put a little bit of that, that white stuff in the corner. I put that directly onto the chocolate and on my rolling pin. I'm gonna roll out the modeling chocolate to about the thickness of a taco shell. Then I place plastic wrap over top and I take the real taco shell from Taco Bell and I push it into the modeling chocolate. Now this is going to create the perfect texture because I'm actually using the real shell. And that plastic wrap is great because it'll keep any bits of shell from getting into my chocolate. And you peel away the plastic and you have all your texture. Now I'm gonna set that aside to firm up a bit because it's pretty soft at this point. And now it's time to carve the cake. So here I have my Taco Bell taco and some chilled cake. Now you want the cake to be chilled because it's a lot easier to carve chilled cake rather than room temperature cake. I can literally pick this cake up and cut it and it's not going to fall apart or crumble. So I'm just adding an arc at the top and trimming the edges of the bottom. And it's a pretty simple shape. I am just trying to match that taco. Now that the chocolate is firmed up, I can place an indentation with a six inch round cake pan, and then I trim out that circle. Taco Bell taco shells are six inches in diameter. I know that because I measured. <laughs> Fun fact. Then I take my chocolate shell and I place it directly onto a cake board. And then I place the cake onto the shell. And I wanna take an offset spatula and cover my cake in either buttercream, or in this case, I use chocolate ganache. Once the cake is covered, then you can place it on the shell and then fold the modeling chocolate shell over top of the cake. Next, I took a sculpting tool and I went in and I added some dents and imperfections on the edge of the shell. I do that because I really like to showcase those little imperfections because it makes this cake look more realistic. I don't want the perfect taco, I want a realistic taco. Next, I took that leftover trimmed away modeling chocolate that I used for the shell and I added some orange to it. So this is going to be the modeling chocolate I use for my cheese. I put the modeling chocolate in the fridge to chill and then I used a grater and I just press the chocolate onto the grater, and I thought that made a really cool cheese. It's very realistic. However, I noticed that the cheese on Taco Bell tacos is actually a little bit thicker than my grater. So I went in and I hand cut some cheese. 
I honestly think both look really neat, but I was going for the accuracy of an actual Taco Bell taco, so I went with the thicker pieces. Here I have some wafer paper. I have some watered down gel food color, that's green, and I'm just saturating that wafer paper with a brush. So you just wanna paint on the color and the water until it's completely saturated. I have a tutorial where I made romaine lettuce and I really explain how to do this technique in that tutorial. So if you wanna learn more about that, go ahead and check it out. In this case, I placed that wafer paper onto some plastic wrap and I kind of folded it a bit. I wanted to have a bunch of texture. This is going to be lettuce, so it's, it's not perfect. Just make it nice and random and wrinkly. Once that wafer paper dries overnight, you can peel that plastic wrap away and you can start cutting out strips of lettuce. I just took some scissors and I cut out long strips because Taco Bell lettuce is cut into long strips. Wafer paper is great because it has a nice crunchy texture, but the flavor is really, really light vanilla. It's super subtle, so it doesn't mess with the taste of your cake. For the beef on this taco, I take the scraps left over that I trimmed from my cake earlier, I crumble them up in a bowl, and I add just a small amount of brown food color that's watered down. And here you can see it looks just like ground beef. It's awesome. Now it's time to add the ingredients to the taco cake. So I took an offset spatula and I just placed our cake beef onto the bottom of the taco. It got a little messy, but I like that. So I let some of the beef kind of fall off onto the cake board because it makes it look more realistic. Next, I took that offset spatula and I actually put a little bit of buttercream on the cake. And that's going to give the wafer paper lettuce something to stick to. Then I took that wafer paper lettuce and I stuffed the taco cake. And finally, our chocolate cheese is going to go on top of that. Nice and messy, just like a real Taco Bell taco. So for the last thing, I wanted to do was hand paint a few darker areas onto my taco shell. So I'm just kind of doing this randomly, adding a few dark brown areas. I paint on some gel food color, and then I take a clean dry brush and I pick up some of that color and soften it. I also wanted to add these darker dots, so I paint those in, and again, I paint them in nice and dark, and then I take a clean, dry brush and I soften the colors. So I go back and forth, adding little dots and then softening them with the dry brush. You wanna keep these dots random. If you pay too much attention to where the dots go, I find that they end up looking more like a pattern rather than a random shell. So I try to not be too thoughtful with it. Finally, the last thing I did was take a blade and lightly scrape at the taco shell. And what was really cool about this is it created highlights and just a little bit of texture, and I think it looked really cool. So that's just that attention to detail that I think makes it look extra realistic. And there you have it, a Taco Bell taco cake. And now it's time to cut my favorite part. I'm gonna go out and get some Taco Bell now. 